Hey guys, really quick before we get in the video, I just wanted to say hello and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I am so grateful for you guys. Thank you guys for coming over to my channel. And Hammy Lux, you are so sweet. You did not have to give me a shout out the other day and I really appreciate that you did. It means a lot to me and I'm really grateful that I was able to meet you on this platform. So thank you so much and I really appreciate it. And anyone who came from her channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you soon. Bye. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is finally the day that I've been waiting for. I'm going to be moving Moo into her new 40 gallon breeder aquarium. Yay! But before I do, I just want to say to all of my new subscribers, hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. I just love animals and I love talking about them and helping or teaching in any way that I can. I'm not perfect and I'm not a professional, but I really try hard and I have a passion for it. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. Okay guys, so before I show you guys Moo's new 40 gallon breeder tank and setup, I just wanted to show you guys what she's been in for about a month so you guys can kind of get an idea as to what this dwarf setup looked like that I had her in and how she did with it. She is in a 20 gallon long. It is 360 square inches. And as of around March of last year, this was an appropriate U.S. and Canada minimum for a hamster or dwarf hamster. However, um, while I do feel it is big enough for her to be happy in, she has showed zero signs of being anxious, stress, or aggression from this tank. I just keep finding new toys and choosing things that I want to get for her and I'm finding that I can't fit very much in this tank without taking a lot of her floor running space and burrowing space away. I have so many more toys and shoes for her and I'm just finding that I can't fit them in here and that's kind of a big reason why I really want to upgrade for her as well as I just feel like I just want to give her more and more and more you know I just want her to have more shoes more toys and more things to do when she's out running at night so now that you guys have seen this tank let's go start assembling her new 40 gallon breeder hope you guys really enjoy watching me redo her tank in this video so let's get started okay guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the tank out really good with wet paper towels I just want to make sure to get any germs that could possibly be in here from the factory out. I'm also going to spray a little bit of diluted vinegar water in here just to kill any germs and then I'm going to rinse it out really well. Okay, here I have a bunch of dirty bedding from Moo's current tank. It's not too bad. Um, this is not the worst of it. It's from the corners that she doesn't really pee in, but it does have her scent on there. So I'm just going to put some of her slightly dirty bedding in here and mix it in really, really well just to get her scent all throughout this tank so it doesn't overly stress her out. Now I'm going to put some of her toys in here.
you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you love her new tank as much as I do. I loved making this for you guys, just like I love making all my videos. Stay tuned for some future tank videos. I have a tank theme video coming up for spring or Easter, and I also have a tank comparison video coming up as well, along with some other ideas in the works. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, be kind. Bye.